So the benefit of Operation Hydra um, with Interpol is that it's focusing around people smuggling. And that phenomenon itself is one of the most difficult aspects for law enforcement to try and confront, disrupt and detect. Because they're preying on vulnerable people that are looking to escape from a variety of um, significant risks to their own personal situation from families and the rest of it. So they're looking to use them as um, illegal travel agents, uh, as illegal facilitators, transport uh, makers and also uh, harbourers. So it's very rare that the victims themselves are actually going to then give them up or give the, the intelligence around them over to law enforcement because they've facilitated them abroad. Um, for those that have got somewhere successfully and also for those that haven't necessarily got there successfully, they're caught up in a, a debt bondage situation um, which they're fearful that if they don't pay off that debt there's going to be uh, significant repercussions to either them or their extended family. Um, so that makes it really difficult and complicated for, um, first of all, getting the intelligence around who are the people smugglers themselves and their identities and the networks that they use. Um, and then secondly, to allow that intelligence coming to law enforcement to be analysed and to lead us to conduct law enforcement operations against them.